Pronator teres syndrome. Which nerve is involved with the pronator teres syndrome? It is the median nerve. Pronator teres syndrome is a compression of the median nerve at the level of the elbow, which occurs more in females. In the forearm, the median nerve runs between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle, and then it lies between the flexor digitorum superficialis and the flexor digitorum profundus muscles. Pronator teres syndrome could be associated with medial epicondylitis. The principal symptoms of numbness in the radial three and a half fingers, as well as thinner weakness, may be mistakenly attributed to carpal tunnel syndrome, but it is not a carpal tunnel syndrome. Potential sites for entrapment of the nerve include. The most common cause is due to compression of the median nerve between the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. It occurs in people who perform repetitive, forceful pronation of the forearm. Compression due to thickening of the bicipital aponeurosis. The aponeurosis crosses from lateral to medial over the antecubital fossa and it may irritate the median nerve. Compression of the nerve from the fibrous arch of the origin of the flexor digitorum superficialis. The median nerve runs down the medial side of the arm and passes 2.5 to 4 cm below the level of the medial epicondyle before it enters between the two heads of the pronator teres. About 1% of patients may have a medial subracondylar humeral spare about 5 cm proximal to the medial epicondyle. The ligament of struthers is attached to this bony projection which connects the process to the medial epicondyle. The bony process points towards the elbow joint. The median nerve can become compressed or entrapped by the subracondylar spare and by the ligament of struthers. That ligament of struthers extends from the subracondylar process to the medial epicondyle. The ligament of struthers is different from the arcade of struthers, which deals with compression of the ulnar nerve around the elbow. Clinical presentation. Parathesia in the lateral three and a half fingers may occur with compression of the median nerve at the elbow region or at the carpal tunnel region. Symptoms are similar to carpal tunnel syndrome, but the symptoms are worse with rotation of the forearm. Patients will complain of dull aching pain over the proximal forearm with no night symptoms. Pain is usually worsened by repetitive or forceful pronation and you can find tenderness on palpation of the pronator teres muscle. The median nerve gives off a palmar-cutaneous branch before entering the carpal tunnel. So sensory disturbances over the palm of the hand occur due to involvement of the palmar-cutaneous branch of the median nerve and this occurs proximal to the carpal tunnel itself. Here you can see the palmar-cutaneous nerve arises before the carpal tunnel. Sensory disturbance in this area indicates median nerve problems proximal to the carpal tunnel. This differentiates between carpal tunnel syndrome and pronator teres syndrome. This is an important point. There are no specific provocative tests used 
to localize the site of compression that produce the pain and distal paresthesia. In pronator syndrome, the nail sign at the rest will be negative. Phelan test will be negative. Median nerve compression tests are negative at the carpal tunnel. However, there will be a positive Tenel's sign at the proximal forearm. There will also be abnormal sensation in the palm of the hand. When compression of the nerve involves the subracondylar process, the test is considered positive if symptoms of tingling worsen while tapping on the spur. Occasionally, the spur can be felt. The pronator teres muscle can be assessed as the cause of the median nerve compression. Resisted for arm pronation with elbow extension will test for compression at the two heads of the pronator teres muscle. The patient forearm is held in resisted pronation and flexion. While remaining in a pronated position, the forearm is gradually extended. Compression of the median nerve can also be tested by resisted elbow flexion with forearm supination that indicates compression of the median nerve at the bicipital aponeurosis or resisted contraction of the flexor digitorum superficialis to the middle finger which means compression at the flexor digitorum superficialis arch. Differential diagnosis, C6 and the C7 radiculopathy. Involvement of the nerves at these levels will cause numbness of the thumb, index, and long fingers, as well as weakness of the muscles of the forearm that are innervated by the median nerve. The radian nerve Part of C6 and C7 will show normal function of the wrist extensors and the triceps. Another differential diagnosis is carpal tunnel syndrome. X-ray imaging and nerve conduction studies may be helpful in the diagnosis, in addition to careful clinical examination. Treatment, rest, splints, Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. Surgical decompression of the median nerve through all four or five possible sites of compression when non-operative management fails for three to six months. The results of surgery are variable, for recovery is not always seen in all patients. About 80% of the patients improve with surgery. The skin incision may leave an unsatisfactory scar. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.